Hi guys, I'm here today with the Shop My Stash video for today, and today the prompt is time cards. So I have these two time cards here, and they're folded right now. What I've decided to do with them is turn this one into a little notebook, and I'm going to turn this one into just this little decorated trifold thing. Not really sure, but I have some things to decorate them with. They're gonna be kind of vintage type theme. So I have a lot of washi stickers and whatnot in here. Probably only will use the washi stickers from here. And I have this pack of washi stickers as well. And these ones. And I also have this um, pack up. Just various flower stickers and vintage stickers and whatnot from Timu. And then I have some coffee dyed and food color dyed um, paper that I made to decorate with. So the first, I'm gonna start with the time card and I'm debating on cutting it down because it won't fit in my stapler this way and I don't really want to, um, I don't really wanna sew it, so. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of having a longer one though. I might just go off camera and um, go staple it somewhere else. So that way I can take the stapler apart, you know, and do that thing. So let's start with that. I'm not gonna use any um, of these for the pages. And I'm not measuring, I'm not doing any measuring or cutting. I am just ripping today. So. I want to get a, I have a pen right here to get a rough size of the page that I'll need. Actually, I might just need this whole, this whole thing, but of course I want to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to rip and it's not going to be perfect, which is okay. And what I should actually do is just go like this, put it in half and then rip it like that. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. And this is a little bit too long anyway. So let's just rip this down. And I'll probably do like five pages in this journal and then rip the top. And that should be a little better. And if a little bit sticks out, I'm okay with that. So there is a green one. And now let's do a red one. And let's get about where this is from. About right here. Okay. Definitely a lot better ripping it when it's folded. This might be a little bit longer of a video, getting all of this done, but that's okay. Also yesterday, in yesterday's video, the, um, oh, this one didn't even make it in the staple. So these clusters, I forgot one whole layer. I forgot this layer. It was just on the side and I didn't, I don't know, I didn't see it, I didn't grab it. So all of the clusters are missing a layer, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm not gonna go back and fix that. But what I will go back and do is just add one more staple to this. Kind of glad I picked that up and saw that. Nothing wrong there, but yeah, so if you noticed that in the video, congratulations, I, I did not. All 
Uh, this one's going to get ripped down a little bit more. And maybe we'll go on top of this one since it's a little smaller. Yeah, there we go. And this one is kind of purple, purplish. So let's hold this one. And about to see how big we need it to be. Right here. Get a little bit of this side ripped. This one actually looks a little bit shorter. Whoops. So I might have ripped a little too much off of the side, but that's all right. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, this is kind of neat. So how I made these was I crinkled up these papers after I put them in some coffee for a little bit to coffee dye them. And then, well, actually, I should say, I, yeah, I, I coffee dyed them first. And then when they were still wet, I just took them out of the coffee. I kind of folded them up a little bit, like crinkled them up, laid them on a baking sheet and then I um, sprinkled some watered down food coloring on them so that's how they got the the little pops of color and then I just let them dry in that crinkled up state which is why they're all wrinkly but I think they turned out really cool and what I'm gonna do is layer them because this one's Actually, we'll go like this. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. And then one more. So let's think this one. This one's a little bit more just regular coffee and maybe some orange or maybe that's yellow um, food coloring with a little bit of green that bled onto it. And this one, I'm only going to rip the side just a tiny bit. Like, just enough to give it a ripped edge. Because I'm taking a little too much off of these ones. And just a tiny bit. I'll put this one on front. Okay. Perfect. So that's a, a nice little notebook. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get this stapled and then I'll come back. Okay, I am back and it is stapled now. So we have this grungy little time card notebook, which is super cool. So now I'm gonna decorate the, the front and back covers as well as the inside of the covers, just with the same kind of paper. Um, I like this. So I'm gonna rip this. So this would be the front and the back cover. Yeah, perfect. And I'm just going to glue these on the time card. Nothing special.
get a little bit off the side. And then rip down the crease. And look at that. Perfect. Maybe a little bit more off of one side. All right, I love that. And so I'll have to do the same to this one. Just a little bit more off the side. Okay. And I have a glue stick right here. Make sure I get this glued good because it is very, very wrinkly. And just glue it down. And then the same on the back. stick everywhere so um, originally when this prompt came out I did not have any time cards and I was just gonna alter some like receipts from a receipt book I got since I didn't have any but then when I was going through my one glue book um, book or like stuff the other day, I found these. So somebody must have sent them to me in Happy Mail at some point and I just threw them in there and I'm glad I found them. Cause then I was actually able to do the prompt as intended. And I missed the center of the um, time card a little bit when I stapled it, but that's all right. Um. Ooh, let's go with this one. This one's pretty sweet. So this will be the inside covers. Okay. So rip that right there. I think that's good. And then a little bit off the sides. And then a rip down the middle. Perfect. So we'll get these glued down and then I'll add some stickers to decorate them. I'm only going to decorate the front actual cover and then the two inside covers. I don't need to decorate the back cover, but I did want to add paper to it. And then this last background. There we go. So the background is done. Now let's get these papers out of the way for now. Close up the glue stick. And while I think of decorations, I'm gonna clamp this since it wants to 
come open because of the gluing probably. Got a hair on here from when I dropped it, but that'll be okay. Um, I do have some regular coffee dyed dictionary paper that I could add a little bit of on here, like maybe just a smaller square. something like that and then rip some of this doily don't really know how much I would need So I like that. This kind of um, clashes though, because it's the same actual color. So I'm not gonna do the book page, but I am gonna do the doily. Maybe I'll do the book page on the inside. Okay, yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna have that glued on there. And let's find a washi sticker that'll look nice on here. I'm sure most of them will. Which one? And maybe I can put this up here and then put another one down there. Or... Can put this right there and then find some kind of neutral vintage one of these stickers like maybe this top one to put up here yeah I think I like that so I'm going to try and carefully um, get this doily glued down without ripping it. Doilies are delicate. Okay, let's see how good that is. Got a big old glue chunk right there. But I did get it glued. Nice. Okay. And now you get to watch me struggle with a washi sticker. Especially now since my hands are super sticky. Actually, that wasn't a struggle at all. Just kidding. If you were looking for a struggle, I'm sorry. Um, let's move that out of the way and put that right there and then this one Ooh, this one is actually the struggle there we go which way does it go this way so there's a perfect little notebook cover right there And then for the inside, like I said, I will use this book page. I can put that right there and put one of these uh, flower stickers down here. And maybe find a small little butterfly or something. Yeah, here we go. It's purple though. 
Oh, here, yeah, there. I'll use this blue one. So that will be nice. Put this up here. Okay, maybe this one will give me a struggle. I'm either getting better at that or these are just easier to get off. So there's that and this blue and black butterfly. That I'll put right there. And now for the back page, I'll do the same thing with a small piece of, um, Dictionary paper. And maybe for this one, I'll use this butterfly down here. And then this teapot butterfly up there looks good to me Okay, butterfly is on, and then the little butterfly teapot book page thing. Perfect. And the back, like I said, I'm just going to leave it. So there we go. Here is my first altered time card and it is turned into a little scrappy grungy notebook and I love it so the second one is going to be decorated similarly just ripped around the edges and decorated with doilies and book page and stickers so let's get started on this one And these are roughly going to be the same size, all three of them. That one's a little big for the front. Um, let's rip a couple more. Let's get a red one. Yeah. 
Those are good. I just need three more now. Um, I like the, both ends on this. So I'm going to rip both of these at the same time. And then I just need one more. And I think I'm gonna do this side because this side looks pretty cool. for the cover so I need to just cut this a little bit more or rip it a little bit more I'll rip this side all right perfect And now the rest of them I don't care so much. Just make sure they are not too big. And that's perfect. green one over here that one just needs trimmed a tiny bit go on the back and it doesn't need cut or trimmed rather 
And the green one in the middle does not need trimmed. Perfect. So there's the trifold, the background. And let's get some doily on the front cover again. Cut it about this much. And we'll get some of this ripped off as well. There, I think that's fine. Ripped it out a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Get that right there. All right, that looks good. And now let's use some different washi stickers. I think these are actually all like labels, so maybe I'm not going to use those ones but I'll use something from in here. Like one of these, one of these. I think I'm just gonna use that. This one is giving me a struggle. Okay, I got, there we go, oops. Kind of bent the sticker down a little bit accidentally, but that's all right. We'll just put that right there. And, I'll put this little word thingy. Oh, I ripped it, so never mind. I'll put this, these little AB, right here in the corner. So that looks good. Um. Let's see, I have some other like types of paper in here that I might use. Like I have these vintage tickets. Oh, here's one. I can rip this in half. Half of that right there, as well as um, I don't know, I don't know what else. Maybe I'll use. this right there and one of these washi label stickers actually I think I kind of like this label I'm just gonna put it right there all on its own I 
don't like that. I did like this. And maybe I can get a bigger washi sticker. I do have some birds and some other different flowers. What's this? Oh, I like that. There we go. That's what I'm going to use. This mushroom and this ticket. we go All right got this off and right there perfect and I'm only gonna decorate these other two I'm gonna leave the back alone So I'll probably put this one in here and then one of these bigger actually no that one's too big. Um I don't want one that's super big. Oh here we go, I like this. So I can put you down here and you up there. right there and then maybe in here let's see what I have I don't want any more tickets there and maybe a small sticker right there and then I think this little trifold will be done and that will be it for shop my stash 2023 with my um, altered time cards that I was super happy to find in my stash and how about we put the, the uh, this flower right there and actually maybe up here I'll put another little butterfly oh man it ripped again so these stickers I gotta be careful with So there's my little trifold, and here is my notebook again. So check out Lori's channel. I will have a link in the description below, and click on the hashtag to see everybody else's altered time cards and see what they did with theirs. And um, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.